Facts about every plants in Plants vs Zombies 2. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, today I'll be sharing a fact about every plants in Plants vs Zombies 2. You can actually see a pea shooter's pea going through his stem before he fires. Even though Sunflower is the second plant, she is the first seed packet in the seed selection screen and in the almanac. If you have a boosted walnut and places him on an already damaged walnut, the boost will not activate. Cabbage Palt is the first offensive lobber plant that can be obtained in the game. In Dark Ages, if Jester Zombie deflect its boomerang, instead of taking damage from the boomerang, Bloomeron will grab it, nullifying the damage. If Iceberg Lettuce is stunned by Boombox Zombie's Ballad Jam effect, it will be killed by any zombie that comes and bites it. Instead of kicking Grave Buster when Punk Zombie's Jam is playing, Punk Zombie will bite the Grave Buster. Bong Choy can instantly defeat any kind of bug zombie, instead of just killing the bug, whether it's a conehead or buckethead bug zombie. Repeater's plant food effect with the help of Torchwood's fire can kill a normal gargantua. And, if he is helped with Torchwood's napalm fire, he can even kill a Jurassic Gargantua. At level 10, Twin Sunflower produces a total of 150 suns, the exact same as a Primal Sunflower. However, Twin Sunflower has a higher cost and slower recharge, so it is definitely AL. Colonel Pulse Butter can stop Pianist Zombie's music and prevents other zombies from swapping lanes. Snapdragon's attack range can reach to the tile directly above him and below him, which is most noticeable when clearing out tombstones. In Don't Let the Zombies Trample the Flowers challenge, player may plant spikeweed on the flowers to block the zombies from trampling the flowers, making the level easier to beat. Spring Bean will attempt to bounce over illuminated zombies by Solar Sage despite the zombie not being alive in the first place. When Coconut Cannon is watered in the Zen Garden, his fuse will be extinguished. It makes sense cause you put water on his burning fuse. If a zombie gets very close to 3 Peter, 2 Ps will hit that zombie, the upper part and the middle part. Hair Metal Gargantua's Shockwave can instantly kill Spike Rock, regardless of his current degrade level. If a cherry bomb is planted at the end of the game, its animation will freeze. Split P can attack Excavator Zombie and Jester Zombie at the back as they cannot block or reflect projectiles from behind.
When a seagull zombie and pelican zombie eats chili bean, the paralyzing gas comes from its head, which makes no sense. Peapod's plant food can damage Jester Zombie, maybe because it's too big that Jester Zombie can't reflect it back. If Lightning Reed zaps a big balloon zombie, the player will see that the balloon has a skeleton of a monkey riding an old-school bicycle and wearing a fez, rather than an empty balloon. If a zombie is in front of Melon Pult, the zombie will not instantly be hit by the melon, unlike in Plants vs. Zombies. One of Tallnut costumes surprisingly resembles Monkey D. Luffy's straw hat and red striped tank top. Winter Melon is not immune to the freezing winds in frostbite caves despite being a cold plant. Level 2 and higher hot potato can also damage zombies. Charred Guard works very well with aloe. When a Charred Guard gets healed by an aloe, he will regain all of his leaves, making Charred Guard almost invincible. This covers up one of Charred Guard's main weaknesses, being his frequent upkeep need. If a zombie is stunned by Stunion and pushed back by Hurricane and lands up on a slider tile, the zombie will not be moved until the effect is gone. One of important feature of Rotobaga is that she can float over water in the big wave beach, allowing her to be deployed without the need of lily pad. This makes Rotobaga a decent choice for stalling fishermen zombies. Whee! Although Red Stinger is a defensive plant when placed on the right side of the lawn, he cannot be healed with walnut first aid. If there are no zombies on the lawn at all, its launchers during a KEE's plant food effect will just produce a hiss and a puff of smoke, similar to other lobshot plants. Endurian is a great defense against any zombie carried by pterodactyls the same way as Prospector Zombie. As it can damage zombies behind it. After reaching level 5, Stalia will gain the ability to knock back the zombies it stalled. Bye, have a great time. One of Gold Leaf costume is a Super Scion based costume, is a reference to the Dragon Ball series. When boosted by Bombard Mint, Potato Mine's plant food will launch 5 clones regardless of level. Laser Bean Plant food ability is likely a parody to the Shoop de Whoop meme. Blubber can cause Dandelion to lose its seeds, rendering it unable to attack for 10 seconds, but blowing all of seeds that can almost clear a three lanes of zombies. If an Ankylosaurus hits a zombie toward a blue plasma ball from Citron's plant food effect can cause the zombie to be floating which is maybe a glitch. E.M. Peach can also temporarily disable Zombie Bull, Rodeo Legend Zombie and Treasure Yeti.
In Big Wave Beach, Infinite's force field can be used to counter fisherman zombies, octo zombies, and surfer zombies. The force field can block cast fishing hook, force octo zombies to eat it and will force surfer zombie to crash land and deploy his surfboard. Tile turnip is the most expensive plant in the whole plants vs zombies series. He can exceed the maximum amount of sun which is 9900. Freezing magnifying grass inside of a vine while its plant food ability is active, the plant food effect will be limitless. Pepper Pult has the least damaging splash damage when compared to the other splash attack lob shot plants. Sunshroom's shadow is much wider than himself in the first stage. Puffshroom is the first plant that initiates a chain reaction of plant food ability. Fumeshroom's plant food effect is essentially laser beam combined with hurricane, save for the slowing effect. If one feeds the same zombie a sunbeam multiple times, his effect will stack up, multiplying the amount of sun for every sunbeam fed. Unlike in the first game, Magnetrum cannot attract Helmet by a all-star zombie. Fatbeat also has an immunity to Boombox Zombie's ability, it actually makes sense because he is wearing headphones. In Pirate Seas, zombies who eat garlic while at the planks will never go to the water. Instead, they will just walk past on him eventually. Celery Stalker has the highest damage in the game, tied with Head Butter Lettuce, dealing 200 damage per second. Sporeshroom is a good counter against importers and bug zombie because when it defeats them, they will not summon what they carry, rather than dropping their equipment. If intensive carrot is used after a level is finished, another copy of the great out sprite will appear on the same tile. In the latest version of the game, you can use Time Warp in any world. Unlike in the last version, that Time Warp can only be used in Neon Mixtape. In Lost City, Excavator Zombie cannot be damaged by Primal Pea Shooter damage, regarding of its plant food effect. Unless if there is a crowd of excavator zombie. Perfume Shroom is the only plant introduced in Jurassic Marsh that does not have Primal in its name. Primal Walnut will not change its sun cost even if you level it up, it's still 75. Primal Sunflower is the only enlightenment plant that has a teeth shown on its animation.
When Primal Potato Mine is thrown away by Excavator Zombie, he instantly arms upon landing. If you looks closely at Lily Pad, you'll notice the plant blowing bubbles underwater and frowns after a few seconds. A max level Tangle Kelp have a 3 life, causing to drag 3 zombies. When bowling bulbs are used in pirate seas, they will cross directly over a path of water rather than falling in. The explorer zombie and torchlight zombie can burn guacodile without making it rush. If you tries to plant banana launcher on a minecart, the game will say bananas are too slippery for minecarts. Additionally, since he can target anything anywhere, a minecart with him is a waste of space. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. man. What the fuck, man? I'm inviting this Get man. your ass on, man. Yeah. The one she holds as Moonflower's costume looks similar to the one that Sailor Moon owns. Powered Shadow Shroom is a good pair with Hurricane that can also spread the poison effect to nearby zombies. Unpowered Nightshade is two times stronger than the Powered Nightshade that is capable of defeating a Conehead zombie with only one leaf. If using Grimrose you have a short time to dig Grimrose up before it disappears that can refund some sun- Additionally, in Pirate Seas Grimrose can be eaten by Seagull and Pelican Zombie. A powered dusk lobber can also target prospector zombies that appear on the left side of your lawn and zombies carried by a pterodactyl if she is placed on the first column, including the lanes next to her. Even a level 1 snow pea has a 5% chance of shooting freezing peas. Power Lily is planted at the very end of any level, she will not produce any plant food and will so just stay on the lawn and do video. her idling Thank animation so much scene for in the almanac and, see you and on the next selection one. screen. If Magnetrum steals an object from a sun bean affected zombie, it will generate sun. When Imitator copies a boosted plant, the imitated version of the plant will also be boosted. Unlike in the first game Chomper can devour 2 to 4 zombies before chewing instead of 1. If Toadstool is on a minecart and about to eat a zombie and the player moves her to other lanes, she will still be able to eat the zombie she targets. Strawburst is the first plant to have a special death animation, exploding when a zombie is too close to him. Placing Cactus on the third column from the right will disable the Ankylosaurus's attack. The zombies will simply be launched on top of her and stop when she hides and cannot be pushed.
low-level electric blueberry only have a 5% chance of targeting a gargantua zombie. So if she managed to zap gargantua zombie, then you're just lucky. Jack O'Lantern's flames are not affected by the water in Pirate Seas and Big Wave Beach nor do they receive any penalties, which makes no sense. Jester Zombie can reflect the bouncing grapes and deal massive damage to plants. Cold Snapdragon's eyes can only be seen during its plant food effect. This makes it one of the only plants with hidden eyes, excluding those with no eyes like Chomper. If you allow a zombie to arm escape route, but then drags him to an empty tile, he glitches and will be invincible to any zombie that does not destroy a plant. Gold Bloom will not activate when planted after the last zombie is killed. Instead, it will play its idle animation. Wasabi Whip's flame does not go out once watered in the Zen Garden. Which cannot make no sense. Regardless of what stage Kiwi Beast was in when defeated, Intensive Carrot will always revive the Kiwi Beast to its on planting stage. If an apple core strikes a dodo rider zombie while it is flying, it will immediately ground it. When Parsnip uses plant food, his smaller versions have whatever costume Parsnip is wearing. And Dark Ages, which Hazel can be an effective counter to the wizard zombie, as she prefers to target them more often than other zombies. Unlike Banana Launcher, the player cannot control multiple mistletoes at once. If Kalapower hypnotized Surfer Zombie, he can use his surfboard to crush a zombie, instantly killing a targeted zombie and other zombies will have to eat the surfboard to get past it. Electric pea shooter projectiles electric chains will target trap tiles if they pass them, though this does nothing to the trap tiles. If one of Holly Barrier's leaves is resurrected by Intensive Carrot, its damage value will glitch out due to not having one specified, causing its damage to underflow. The zombie that Squash is targeting will always be hit, even if the zombie switches lanes or is blown back to the ninth column. Interestingly, if the player plants a blubber when a Squash targets any flying zombie, the Squash will somehow chase it off-screen. Jalapeno can be used to neutralize barrel roller zombies while preventing the barrels from releasing imp pirate zombies.
Homing thistle spikes find it hard to target submerged snorkels zombies, as homing thistle tend to loop above their snorkel before getting hit. If a hypnotized zombie eats a sunbeam before it was hypnotized, it will still generate sun as it takes damage with other zombies. If the zombie isn't defeated, it will produce whatever sun it has left a few seconds after it leaves the lawn. Peanut's costume is similar to Fisherman Zombie's rubber ring. Zombies pushed back by Fumeshroom and Hurricane can get attracted by Sweet Potato. Sapling not only have zombies walking speed, but also their attack speed, creating unique synergy with any defensive plant. If you plant both Hurricane and his imitator on a lane where the zombies are, the zombies will be pushed twice as fast. When Fire Pea Shooter is watered in the Zen Garden, her flames are extinguished, revealing that her body is exactly identical to Pea Shooter's. Jester Zombies Reflected Projectiles will pass through Ghost Pepper. If Lava Guava Plant food ability is used in Pirate Seas or Big Wave Beach, the water in the lane will boil and bubble up. Shrinking Violet can destroy the backpack carried by the importer if he was still carrying it when being shrunk. Electric Current is the only non-enlightenment family plant or mince that is fully charged at the very start of the level. Filament is the first mint to be released in Plants vs. Zombies 2. Despite not being a fire plant, Ghost Pepper is in the peppermint family. This may be simply because she is a pepper, and because ghost peppers are notoriously spicy and hot slash fiery. Winter Mint appears smaller than the rest of the Power Mints. Reinforcement is currently the only Power Mint capable of making plants in its own family activate their plant food ability. Bombard Mint heavily resembles Gold Leaf. Chili Beans is boosted by ailment he creates 10 duplicates with his plant food effect regardless of his level. If Intensive Carrot is boosted by enchantment it will revive plants to an additional 125% of their max HP. Any kind of knockback on zombies will stop containment's stunning effect instantly. At level 1, enforcement can only shrunk 10 random zombies in the lawn. Armament's projectiles appear to resemble peppermint candies. If Chicken Wrangler Zombie and Weasel Hoarder are dragged by concealment it won't summon any chickens or weasels. If the Spike Rocks is boosted, planting a spearmint can activate Spike Rocks plant food ability.
Appeasement launch huge peas can turn to fire by the help of torchwood. If a jester zombie deflects the fire peas, the plants in front of torchwood will be burnt. If a boosted starfruit is planted directly under a gargantuar, all of his projectiles will hit it, unlike Rotobega. High-level dandelion changes its projectile to bomb instead of dandelion seeds. After every hit dealt by Blooming Hearts its damage increases by 10, up to 5 times. The maximum damage she can deal is only 50 damage. If Bombagranite is imitated, she will only spawn 8 seeds, not spawning a seed on the tile imitated Bombagranite was planted on. The Surfer Zombie Surfboard can trigger Explodonut's explosion but is not affected by it due to being invincible during the smashing animation. Aloe works extremely well with Charge Guard. If it is sufficiently damaged and Aloe heals them, all its missing ammunition is refilled, which can be abused to quite literally stall zombies forever, as long as they eat plants properly. For some reason Hot Date can kill Imp Dragon Zombie despite this zombie is immune to fire damage. Solar Tomato is a good counter against the Arcade Zombie as it can produce 50 sun each zombie it hits. When I'm not with you, when I went, when, when I went with you, send this to your best friend. Though Gold Bloom and Gold Leaf are also an Enlightenment's family, she gains no bonus when this plant is planted. A boosted shadow pea shooter will always use its powered plant food effect, whether or not it is powered. Goo pea shooter is pea shooter's sticky cousin, similar to how shadow pea shooter is pea shooter's darker cousin. In AKE's tournament, there is one frozen pyrevine on the lawn, which is ironic as pyrevine is immune to freeze effects. He is currently the only plant in the game capable of attacking zombies in all five lanes at once without plant food. Snap Pea is highly effective against Zombie Medusa as not only could he eat the zombie entirely, the Medusa head will also petrify other zombies upon hit. If Snap Pea eats Dodo Rider Zombie, it will throw the head of the imp, not the Dodo's head. Even if the U let Snappy eat a shrunken Dodo Rider zombie, it will still throw the imp head although the imp has disappeared.
If Zoibian Pod is fed plant food while Boombox Zombie is activating his special ability, it will summon two Zomboid Gargantuars instead of one. Electricity passive zaps are the weakest attack out of all other plants in the game, only doing a measly 3 damage. Additionally its plant food effect can also target the zombies behind it. Daisy Chain only has a 20 damage at the first stage and increases 20 per stage, so its max damage is 60. Pokra's plant food ability can be reflected by Jester Zombie. If a zombie eats a Mastery 12 plus Impair, its secondary ability activates immediately, destroying said imp. When he is given plant food, someone can be heard saying pumpkin. Zombies that is stuck in gum by gum nut can be ice blocked by ice bloom, making a good combo. F.A. Gargantua is defeated by Ice Bloom, only his smashing weapon will get frozen, due to the size of the ice blocks being too small for Gargantuas. Zombie King can turn the peasant zombies in the ice blocks into night zombies. The other zombies must eat the helmet before they can get through. Dartichokes aim first at high priority target. However, it target the zombies summoned by Zomboss over Dr. Zomboss itself. Ultimato will reset its attacking cooldown if another Ultimato is planted on it. If a gumnut is stunned by Boombox Zombie's Ballad Jam effect, it can be easily killed by any zombie, making it the weakest reinforced Ming family plant. Shine Vine ceases to produce sun on its own, and instead causes Magnifying Grass to automatically perform a free attack. Peavine can boost Tumbleweed's damage, but the small green orb around him doesn't appear. This is a glitch. But if Torchwood and Peavine is in front of Tumbleweed then the small green orb can be visible. Olive Pit can be a good counter against Troglobite Zombie, Arcade Zombie, and Medusa Zombie as they can't push the object that they are pushing past through Olive Pit, instead they will just ignore the object and will continue to walk by. Puffball Poison effects last forever and can be stacked unlimited times.
When Explodovine is about to get smashed by Gargantua Zombie, use a plant food on it. Now Explodovine is invisible or like it can't be damaged vt any zombies in the lawn and will simply walk past it, additionally if you put any plant on Explodovine it is also affected by it. Unlike Explodonut, he will not trigger the explosion if Surfer Zombie crushes him with his surfboard. This may be a glitch. The shield from Mercadamia Nut Plant Food Effect has the Concealment Family symbol on it. Although being a lobber plant, Turkey Palt cannot target or attack submerged snorkel zombies, even though the thrown turkeys are able to do so. Turkey Palt's turkeys are affected by evil potions in Dark Ages. While balloon zombies and bug zombies fly over the turkeys, jetpack zombies and disco jetpack zombies stop to eat them as if they were tall nuts. A high-leveled head butter lettuce can easily defeat gargantua zombie. Unlike Reinforcement, her knockback ability will not work with Glover. So far, in the game she is the only plant in the Catapult family to be able to shoot at zombies even when they are behind her. Hocus Crocus actually has a voice heard when magicking zombies, saying Hocus. Bloom Vine and Concealment are the only shadow plants that don't have an unpowered form. Draftadil cooperates well with Shrinking Violet or Enforcement, as they will shrink zombies, and Draftadil's air cannon is able to blow small zombies off the lawn directly. Unlike Banana Launcher, but like Mistletoe, the player cannot control multiple Boom Balloon Flowers at once. Despite the fact that his mouth being in front, his peas can be set on fire by a torchwood that is planted on top of him. A max level pea vine and torchwood can two hits a full health gargantua zombie. When Inferno attacks newspaper zombie and destroys his newspaper, the zombie is still slowed dramatically per usual, though its eating speed remains the same. As soon as the zombie dies, Solar Sage can transform it into an enlightened zombie. Power Vine is the only plant capable of firing in a three-shot burst in a single lane in Plants vs. Zombies 2. Even though Nocturne is instant-use plant it can be ice-blocked by Hunter Zombie. Nocturine's gas can be drowned in water tiles of Big Wave Beach or destroyed by some zombies. Tiger Grass has the same triggering range as Fume Shroom. If Heat Seeker is planted after a level ends, it will just repeat its spinning animation over and over, not releasing any spikes.
When fed plant food iceweed will have the ability to resist several rolling objects and gargantuan smashes, similarly to spike rock. Unlike other underground plants, teleportato mine could be planted on wooden planks in pirate seas. Blockoli is also immune to the special abilities of the fisherman zombie and excavator zombie. Buttercup can actually butter zombies even if she is behind an infinite plant food force field. Trapped zombies are knocked back when bramble bush is eaten, destroyed, or dug up. Affected zombies are considered airborne and can therefore be neutralized with blubber. Rubabarian reuses the same spinning animation of tumbleweed. At 400 sun, Mega Gatling Pea is the most expensive seed packet plant. Airborne zombies, levitated by levitator, are permanently immune to the effects of getting blown away. This may be due to levitator overriding their flying state. Like teleportato mine, levitator cannot be planted on a lily pad, but it can still be planted on wooden planks in pirate seas. Tomb tangler can be used on surfboard drop by surfer zombie. Vampirsini is able to attack octopi and leech them, though not other inanimate grid items like tombstones. Meteor Flower's plant food effect also scares away all dinosaurs on screen when activated. At level 1, Chili Pepper has the longest freeze duration out of the ice plants, lasting for 13 seconds. When Bunchi uses its thunderclap it can knock all affected zombies back, so Blubber can blow away this zombies. BZZZ Button, in its first introduction, its name is Buzz Button. Boonberry also gets bonus damage when there are other Boonberries on the lawn. At level 5 or higher, Maybe's trigger radius goes up to 4 tiles. When C. Flora finished attacking a zombie, its animation will freeze. Scaredy Shroom was originally planned to return much earlier as an unlockable plant in the Dark Ages world and would behave exactly like he did in the first game but it was scrapped for unknown reasons. If Bamboo Spartan loses its shield even a plant food ability won't bring it back. Note that pairing Bamboo Spartan with Aloe will also not bring back his shield once it is destroyed. Additionally when Bamboo Spartan loses its shield its damage is increased up to 3 times. Marigold is the only plant that cannot be planted on the lawn normally. But if you code it to be used in the game, then she can be planted. So that is all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next one.